Hello and welcome to part two of the ribbon burner vortex knife forge, something like that. Um, we'll think of a name later. Been busy since the last video. We've I've demolded all of the refractory, so taken all the plastic off, taken the pipe out. Pipe in the middle, I use aluminium. Absolute nightmare. I wouldn't suggest using aluminium. It took maybe sort of about an hour to get this thing out. We used every weapon, cutting this plasma torch, all sorts. We did get it out, obviously, and it's done a good job, but something maybe flexible, plastic, something would be a lot easier. Um, if it was doing it again, I'll think of something else. Uh, I've been working on the door hinge, uh, which, which worked okay, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna run it as it is, and um, once I've actually got this thing fired up, things like this refractor might expand a little and then it'll end up too tight. Because what I'd like, as it shuts down, I want it just to move in slightly. So I'll need a slight spiral on the hinge. But I think I will look at that later once I'm, we've done a few test runs with it, just to make sure. I've also, I've drilled the ribbon burner block now. What I did was use a, I made a, a jig, now I did this on the CNC and I was trying not to use the CNC for anything in here, just so you guys, if you wanted to, you could follow along, but you could make one of the, make the jig on a pillar drill, you know, it's just, it's just to get a nice straight, the idea of thickness is it, it keeps the drill going straight into the block. So when it, it does the all line in a line inside, um, and it's worked pretty well. Um, what I did find, I got a little bit of chip out. So what I did, I then marked the drill and just sort of quarter of an inch from the end, from the inside, I took off the hammer action and just used the rotary action. And then that sorted that. I've also, I've welded on the tube for the, onto the manifold. And I've made this little widget thing, a bit of sheet metal, like a spiral with little cuts, like little blades. That will go, just get tacked into there. And all that's gonna do is, as, as the air and the fuel go in, it's just gonna mix it, just so we get a better mix going into the burner. I've also got the pipe work. All the pipe fittings arrived. So I've, I've welded a, a tap, well, welded a pipe into there. I've got the tap on and then I've got the hose connection. I've also got a MIG tip in there. I'm not 100% with this, so I, I can't, I, I wouldn't like to advise you on it. I'm not a gas engineer. This is what I've done, but I'd rather <laughs> cover my own back. Don't copy what I've done, it might blow up. I'm sure it will work, but you know, to be safe, take advice on this off an expert. It's, you don't want to play around with gas. It's, um, can be dangerous. Um, so, so this is the pipe that goes down to the to the blower. And what I need to do, I'm going from this 60 millimeter, and the blower is this one, which is six inch. So I need to make an adapter, more or less like a conical shape adapter. Uh, so that's today's job. Uh, this is a fan from AC Infinity. Not 100% whether this is going to work too well. Being an inline fan, a few people have said maybe not. But I'm going to try it and we'll see. And that will get mounted down onto the frame. I'll need to a weld in a cross member on the in between the legs, and that gets bolted on. So we're not too far away. Um, it's a few, just these few little bits to do really. And then obviously coat of paint. It's got to look good. Everything I do is gonna look good. So we'll, we'll crack on today, and um, this this in, this refractory is still curing anyway. So it's only had it's had what three four days, so it needs a little bit longer. I don't want to risk firing this thing up, and then refractory starts to crack because there's moisture in it. So I'm not taking any risk with that. So that gives me just time to finish off these bits, and then we'll get it up and running. I've cut the piece of thin steel um, and I've, I've took a guess at this 
Um, I could have drawn this out from CAD and done all the calculations and printed it off, but um, sometimes you don't need to do them things. So now I'm just going to form it to the, to the cylinder shape, just on the, on the anvil. Pretty thin, so it, it moves easy. Um, we're not going to be too far away. That looks bigger than the six inch. And if I get that down to the size of the small pipe, I can yeah squeeze that into the size of the small pipe. I can then just cut that around here to get it to the size of the of the blower. Then I'll add on straight strip around there cylinder and same on there and I think I'll put little cuts in into that just so it clamps around the pipe and then the same with this it'll just clamp around it. Right so that's that finished I decided in the end just to weld this end direct to the pipe it didn't make sense to have to make another collar and it was so much fun welding this thin steel anyway I, it was, I was just getting chasing holes so um, but that, I think that's a better way, uh, it's just straight onto the pipe. I've uh, got a jubilee clip on there, so that all seems okay. Um, so this fan has, uh, I think it's nine speeds. I'll just turn it up to the full, full speed. It just takes a, a little while just to wind up speed. It feels pretty good pressure um, and it's, it's pretty quiet actually as well, so um, it is always a bonus. Right, good. Um, on to the next stage. Right, I think we're finished. I've connected all the pipe work up. Uh, when, when doing the pipe work, uh, use uh, it's sort of like a plumber's tape, but it's not. It's for it is for gas, and it the gas one tends to be in a yellow container, and all it is is slightly thicker. Uh, but you could, I think the, the normal one for water is okay, but there is a gas one for a reason. The pump is mounted. I haven't made the bracket for the pump as yet because I want to fully test this and make sure this pump is right. Because if it's not. I may have to change to a different type, so then it'll be a different bracket. But for now, it's actually it's a very lightweight pump. It's fine as it is. I've also coated all of the refractory now inside the front and inside the door with a special um, product from Vitcast. It's a zircon coating. I'll I'll put a link uh, below. So that's it. It's supposed to. It's for, I think it's for when you're using glass and things like that. So. My thinking is, when you, with the flux, it's just going to help protect it, uh, give you a better surface. And it's also slightly higher uh, temperature rated. So I think that is everything really. Uh, gas is connected. Uh, we'll, we'll fire it up and uh, we'll see how we go.
and pretty good temperature that. Uh, we're not far off getting to welding temperatures. Well, like I say, it's just going to be a little bit of fine tuning, uh, just just getting the settings right, and I think, uh, and then also just let's see how you know try and monitor the gas usage as well. Uh, quite interesting with something like this, should it, because it should be more efficient, but we'll see. On the whole, I'm pretty happy with that. So I've just switched that off. Well, I've switched the gas off. I'll leave the air on. Because this, the refractor will, because it's quite thick, it's nearly an inch thick inside, it's going to hold the heat for quite a while. I mean, that's the one thing with this, it's up, once it gets to temperature, it's fairly efficient because it's holding that heat as well. Uh, so I'm leaving the, the blower on, just so I'm not getting heat travelling back down the manifold, back down the pipe. We'll just leave that on for a while and it'll just sort of help slowly cool this. There's not a great deal of air coming through, but... Um, so on the whole, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm, I'm pleased to be honest, very pleased with it. But I say, a bit of fine tuning, and um, just to you know, try in different settings with the fuel, the air. And, and because I'm on the limit there with that air, with that fan, I was on the maximum. I wasn't at the start, but then I did go up to the maximum. I think I may try another fan, just to see if I can get it to heat up faster. It may, you know, it may go faster, but um, but yeah, I'm happy. Um, so I hope you've liked this build. I um, hope it's been interesting, and you know, you might want to try it yourself. You might want to take one of the elements from it. Uh, you know, I'd be chuffed a bit if, if somebody would thought it was good and they were going to build one or just copy something off it. You know, I'm I'm happy. In the end, I've got a nice tool now, and I need to do some forging. So projects we've got coming up. Let me think. So first projects I've got, I mean I've been making, obviously I've done this press and I've, I've done the forge, so I think it's time to make some blades. Um, I quite fancy doing a, um, a cookery, maybe a twisted Damascus, so we'll see how both this and the press work, doing Damascus, that'll be interesting. Um, I've also got, I have got, I've, I mean I've got a belt grinder, but I've got this idea for a belt grinder, which haven't seen before and it makes a lot of sense something quite different and I'm sort of pretty excited about it but I want to do quite a bit more development and drawings to get that right but so if you want to see that I'd subscribe because that might just be something different hopefully it works but once I've got the drawings um, I, I, I think I'll be happy with it and, uh, and there'll be something that I do actually produce as well so so thanks again for watching, um, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time.